what up what up y'all so today we're back working as a company driver again for uh that first company that i drove the 10 wheeler for but today i am in a dump trailer 1998 peterbilt you feel what i'm saying look the truck but it rides really smooth you feel me like it's really a good truck well maintained and all that you feel me and today we are doing a millings job over here in the bronx As you see, they already started loading. You see the millings going into the uh, trail over there. Feel me? Job already started. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm driving. 98 Pete with an end dump triaxle, maximum gross weight 107, 107,000 pounds. It's really old, but it rides smooth. Feel me? Going in. So basically we're just following each other, you feel me? Once the truck that's in front gets loaded, then the next truck goes and they load him and then we keep going and then they load me. So we're all in the line, just getting loaded as the machine moves. So you see the machine? I don't know how far we're going but if we get to the end before they load that truck in front of me then i'll just have to make a u-turn and then they come back you feel what i'm saying so that's what we're doing right now we got the other guys behind me too other trailer just came in so we're getting right to it today look this guy started loading right away i'm gonna trail him then i'm gonna go That machine works so perfect on the edges. Look at that, on the edge. Perfect. Right now, I'm going, I'm going. Tell me what to do. I thought there wasn't a flag in here, but there actually is. It's to my right. Thank you. Attention, you see, that's what got on the catwalk. Look at this, I'm not paying attention.
know what? I'm gonna make the left here. I'm gonna just turn here. I'm gonna just turn here. We just waiting outside to go in and dump. Dumping now, y'all. Dumping, dumping. And we're gonna get out of here and go back and do the same thing. Feel me? We're back, we're back. So we're loaded and we're on our way back to dump now. Basically, it's gonna be repetitive. We're gonna be doing the same thing all day. Right now, I'm just gonna go dump at the same, at the same, it's like the same location, but around the corner. It's another business, but in the same block. You feel me? We're at the dump now. Let's see where they tell me to dump. I'm guessing I'm gonna dump somewhere over here. Right now we dump and then we're going back again. We're doing this pretty quick, you feel me? So we might get a few loads in before three o'clock. I mean, this is a day high, it's from seven to three. I don't think there's gonna be any overtime today, but let's just see how the day goes on. Should be a seven to three day though. So them getting paid by the hour, so I don't mind um, today being a long day, you feel me? We're back, we waiting. And we eat it. Bagel with butter and coffee. While we wait. So today we're in a 98 Peterbilt short hood. Um, I think I've driven one of these before, if I'm not mistaken. A 98 uh, with a flatbed. One time, I believe. But the truck is old and all, but she runs smooth. She runs really smooth. You know, this is a totally different interior from mine or a totally different dash from uh, my truck because my year has the upgraded dash I mean my truck is old too but it's the newer dash so you see this is the dash right here got an eight speed hey man you got the roll-up window here on this side you got the wood this this is the the color that I changed on my dash in my truck this is what I had originally you know it got the same door panels you know what I mean same door panels then we got the air for that window over there 
and we got the big old 20 inch steering wheel i'm not used to the steering wheel i'm used to 18 you know what i mean but it's not bad it, it's smooth it's really smooth this truck is really really smooth very well maintained a little dirty on the outside but it's pretty well maintained from what i see you know just show us some love give it a little cleaning on the inside and it's good to go so right now we've been sitting for like i want to say 40 minutes it's 10 40 a.m right now we just we chilling i got uh two trucks ahead of me that have to load ahead of me um then i'm gonna load so they haven't started yet i don't know what they're doing with the machine over there but they haven't started yet so i'm still here waiting but when you get paid by the hour you know it doesn't really matter these seats have no air by the way so i gotta sit low you feel me it's just this goes up a little bit so not good for uh a short guy i'm on the toilet side so i'm good you know i was thinking not too long ago about selling my truck i could actually get a lot more than what i bought the truck for you know, I could get a lot more with the way the value is on trucks now and the way that things have gone up. So I thought about selling it, but you know what? I know if I sell it, I'm going to regret it. You know, the truck is paid off. You know, I bought the truck cash. So, you know, it doesn't really hurt to have it there. I mean, I'm, I am paying insurance on it monthly, but... I'll just keep paying the insurance on it. When the job comes up, I'll take it. With my truck in one day, I can make what a driver makes in one week. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the reason why I don't want to sell it. Because even if I work a few times a month, I'll still make, you know, a decent amount of money. You know, and I know if I sell it, I'm going to regret it. Because it's, it's, it's going to be hard to find a truck once I sell it. And the way things are, it's, uh, you know, with inflation, everything is expensive. I could, I could probably get 30% more than what I spent on the truck. Um, I'm not going to do that just gonna stay calm i got other things in life coming up too some some good things you know and when that happens i'll let you guys know but it's in the works you know that's another reason why i want to keep the truck because um you know i got some good things coming you know what i mean and it's something that i could do i could do both i could keep my truck and do that you feel what i'm saying so and when i'm not working then i'll just I'll do these these type of jobs, you know what I mean? I'll probably try to get into this union here. Doesn't pay bad, you know, it's forty-five dollars an hour. You know, and I could just do this in the meantime while while I'm not working in my truck. If you know, here and there. And if I work a week, one day a week in my truck, that's cool too. You can't just make decisions in the heat of the moment. You know, I was really thinking, like, damn, I should sell my truck, but if I'm not doing this, I also have my, I have a lot of options. I also have my, my cleaning business where I can work there myself. I'll wash trucks myself, you know what I mean? Bring somebody with me, bring a worker with me, and I can get my hands dirty. So I got a few options. That's the reason why I'm not, I've decided not to sell the truck. You feel what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at with it. So after about an hour away, I'm on my way for my third load now for the day. We're gonna dump and go. And we're back. Never do this. Dump next to someone. Never do that. We're back again. Let's see how much is left. How much of the millings is left. How much of the road is left. Let's see if we're going to do overtime today or it's just going to be an eight hour day. Tell me we're going to see now when we pull up to the scene. Ain't really much left. Just a strip left. So it's probably going to be one more load. I don't know if they're going to sign me on that. I'm not sure if they're gonna have us go to another street after this sometimes they'll have you go to another location where they're doing the same type of job you feel what i'm saying so i don't know if they're gonna have us go to another location or this is just it for today let's see
They're looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm doing push-ups. But you gotta stay in shape. Stay fit while you drive trucks. See, later on tonight, I'm gonna run three miles. You feel me? And probably hit some calisthenics at the park. Stay in shape, my guys. 15. Loaded. And we're out again. I guess we'll come back and then sign out from over here. Even if we don't get the logo, we'll sign out. And make our way back to the yard. Back again with number four. Dumping over there. Let's see if we're gonna sign out or if we're gonna do another load. I don't think that's enough material for another load, but we're gonna see when we get there. Feel me? So we just got here. The other driver told me I got it all the way down to 232nd Street to uh, sign out. You feel me? So we're about to go sign out now and call it a day. So I guess I'm not signing out. The guy just told me they're gonna need me for another load. So I'm gonna get this load and then sign out. Now we out. Right now it's 2.36 p.m. Everybody signed out. Dump this straight to the yard. We're here with the last load, you feel me? I'm gonna dump this, go back to the yard, and then go home, then eat, then run three miles, and then go either to the gym or to the park. You feel me? That's my day. I'm having an issue with the car. It's all tangled up there. Mm-hmm. A few moments later. Six and a half hours later. Things that usually don't happen. Now it's happening that I'm working for somebody else. One eternity later.
has to be when I'm leaving. This top been giving me problems all day. You feel me? But right when I'm leaving is when it gives me the big problem. But it's good now, so. Let's roll it back in. Top is good now. Now we good. It's not a regular day unless something like that happens. There's always a way for me to get my hands dirty. Oh man, one of, the, one of the other drivers hit this car here, it looks like. He got into an accident with this car. I just saw him and I was uh, messing with my car and he waved at me and he was coming back to the yard and look at that to end the day with an accident that's the worst feeling in the world you know what I'm saying like sucks damn careful out there guess I'm a back in over there into that small spot there
tried to get it in one shot for y'all, but I, I had to move the 10 wheel. It was impossible. It had to be moved. You feel me? If not, bro, trust me. If it was possible, it would have got in there. Feel what I'm saying? So that is my day today that wraps it up. If you like my content, show some love. You feel me? Like, share, and subscribe. If you like this hat, follow at heavy haulers underscore on IG and DM me to place an order. I'll see y'all next time.